Hi all, it's Jack from Preact here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dynamics 365 sales mobile app. The sales mobile app has recently been through some large changes that makes it a lot easier on the eye. It's also got some new features to help us plan our day, quickly update any records that we need and also to be able to find any information in the system. Let's jump over and take a look at how it looks. As you can see, we're currently on the home page. Once you have signed in to the app um, after downloading it, this is where you'll be brought to. On here, we've got a number of bits of information. At the top of the page, you can see some meetings that we have upcoming. I've got two here, and you can see that one of them is a Teams meeting as well, and I can join the Teams meeting directly from this page. If I click into one of these, you can see I've got the information regarding the appointment, and I can also see the participants. You can see we've also got the option to connect a record, and I can go ahead and, uh, and link this meeting with any record in Dynamics. Below that, we've got our recent contacts, where we can see all of the recent contacts that we've interacted with. And we've also got a list of all of our recent records, and we can go through and scroll through all of these. If you want to see them in a list view as well, just click on the Recent Records button. We've got some reminders here that are using Insight cards. You can see here I've had no activity with this account. And below this, we've got some more insights as well. So you can see here that the insights are showing me that an issue has been detected within an email. Um, and within here, I can go ahead and open this email uh, from here. Next up at the bottom, we've got the search button, and this is going ahead and using the Dataverse search. So we've got all of the features that are included in the Dataverse search in here as well, and um, which we've got a whole video on if you do want to take a look at what those are. But for instance, I can go ahead and type in first up consultants, and you can see that that will pop straight through. I can then click on here, and it will bring me into the account using the quick view form. I've got my details page here where I've got some basic information such as the account name, address, primary contact, phone number, and at the bottom I've got some notes as well. And from here I can go ahead and click on add a note, and I can type in a title, type in some description, and then down the bottom you can see here I've got the option to go ahead and add a file, or I can add a photo using my camera, and then the third button here is to copy. From there, I can copy any of the notes that I've put in. Clicking on any of the phone buttons within here will allow you to call that number. And clicking on the pen will allow me to come into edit mode and I can edit any of the details that we've currently got here. If we come out of this account, you'll see the next button we've got is the big plus in the middle at the bottom. From here, I can scroll through and create any new records. For instance, if I want to go ahead and create a contact, I can click in here, add in all of the new details for the contact and click save, and that record will be created in Dynamics. Next up, we've got meetings, and within here, this is pulling through all of the information from Outlook. We saw earlier on the home page that it was showing me my upcoming meetings, but within here I can see all of the meetings I've got with a nice calendar at the top, and I can choose through different days to see what I've got going on. Finally, we've got the More button. Clicking on the More button brings us to all of our entities as we would see them in the sitemap in the web version. I can scroll through all of my entities here, and then I can go ahead and click into them. If I go ahead and click into my accounts, it will show me a list of all of my active accounts, and as per the web version, I can select my view at the top and choose what accounts I would like to see. I can also go ahead and click into any of the accounts, and instead of the quick view form that we were being shown earlier, we'll be brought into the full forms. As you can see, this looks very much like the web version. Within here, we do have some extra uh, features as well. If we take a look at my activity timeline here, you'll see that I've got my camera button, my video button, and uh, also a new microphone button. And what I can do here is go ahead and click on the microphone button. I can click on the record button, and I can start making a dictation. As I'm speaking, it's recording what I'm saying. And once I'm done, I can go ahead and click on the red button click on done, 
I can add a title. And then I can simply go ahead and click add note. And that's going to go ahead and add that voice note against this account. So nice and easy to do. Coming out of this account, we can go ahead and click on the new record button within here. And we can go ahead and click on contact. And you'll see here we've got some really cool features such as the scan business card button. Clicking on this will bring up the camera. And if I had a business card in front of me, I could go ahead and take a picture of the business card. That would then bring through all of the information from the business card and fill out all of these fields here. As you can see, it does have a very similar look and feel to the web version. However, with some new additions such as the meetings, home and search tabs, they are slowly starting to modernize the app. The other thing that we can do with the mobile app is any fields that we've got on a form in the web version, we can decide exactly what will show on the mobile version. So if we want to declutter and make it nice and simple for users to enter data, we can certainly go ahead and do that and only bring through certain information. Please get in touch with us if you have any questions regarding the sales app. Like this video if you've enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Preact YouTube channel if you want to see more of our videos about Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform in the future.